Friends, today is Thursday, June 1, 2023. And our uh, verses today are again from Acts chapter 2. The Spirit is being poured out and now we're going to get some reaction from the crowd because there were two types of reaction from the crowd who saw and heard this miracle of different languages that, that were being spoken by people who were all you know, Jews of a certain sort. They knew, the crowd knew that all these individual dialects were not known to the disciples. They hadn't studied any of these, and yet they were hearing them talk and praise God in, these, in their own languages. And so it created some astonishment, which is very emphasized in this passage. Amazed and astonished, the onlookers asked, Are not all those who speak Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in our native languages? Uh, yes, we talked yesterday about the problems of communication. And yet, Christianity, almost uniquely among, um, among the, the movements in the history of the world, has, has, has concentrated on overcoming these barriers. And there's a room in the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C., which is a fascinating room. It has um, color-coded, it has translations of the Bible into languages. Now, some are complete translations, Old New Testament. Then there's a different code for just New Testaments that so far they haven't yet translated the Old Testament into that language. And there are some that are just partial versions of the, of the Bible, uh, partial versions of the New Old Testament translated. And it's fascinating to see there are thousands and thousands of complete translations. The barriers of language, all kinds of native languages have been overcome. And in fact, now because we're able to use uh, for these translations computing power and artificial intelligence indeed you can you can translate much more quickly you can map two languages together and that means that um, probably within five to ten years all of the living languages in the world many thousands will have a, a translation of the Bible uh, to read access to God's Word and that is uh, so the astonishment is has continued that that God is going to speak across all these differences of language and uh, people are going to be able to hear. It's quite a, um, a remarkable thing. And it reminds us of this transcultural phenomena that we're part of it if we're Christians that is, is really unlike any other institution in the world. I mean, normally geography stops movements, language stops movements, race stops movements, culture stops movements. And in fact, some um, religions have succeeded in the world uh, not by uh, penetrating and by sharing their wisdom with a culture, by enculturating within a new culture, but by conquering that culture and imposing a particular culture on that, on that, on that group. But Christianity has never worked that way. It has always tried to be, at its best, culturally sensitive, not always achieved that. And in some of the missionary movements, there was an imposition of European culture in certain ways, um, and that's a bigger discussion. But um, here we see the intent of God is that the gospel be translated into different cultures and language settings to meet the needs of different kinds of people. One truth, many expressions. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being part of a global movement of such depth and magnitude. Awesome. Hallelujah. Amen.